This is Paint with Len, exercise number one. This can be your very first painting lesson. Let the lesson run through a few times while you're painting the picture and don't try and copy mine exactly. Your painting might look like this or this. First we start with white. We'll cover the top two thirds of the board with white. That'll be our sky. I'm using canvas here. You can use a board or a canvas and you can make your picture any size you wish and any colour you wish. If you paint your first few pictures with one colour and white, you'll learn the brush strokes very quickly and monocolour paintings make beautiful ornaments. Now we'll pick up a little bit of burnt umber. Burnt umber is a good colour to work with and always seems to work well with the white. Brush it into the top of your sky using both sides of your brush. Remember to pick the paint up with the very tip of your brush. Brush it backwards and forwards, but don't go right down into the white. We do need that white sky. So you can brush it backwards and forwards and have a nice clear brown sky. Then we'll load the bottom of the painting with brown. This is our ground right under our feet. We have plenty of burnt umber there and then whiten over the top in the distance and we'll clean the brush. Make sure your brush is nice and clean and pick up some more burnt umber and fill in along the bottom. This is where we're standing and it's very dark because that's the soil and the grass. And now with our fan brush we can dab 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 in the background and form what looks like grass. Keep it very little in the background and get bigger as it comes towards us. Do the background grass first and when you get to the foreground we'll have very big dark grass. Put your brush on, lift it up and off, up and off. Now this is a little soft haired brush. It's not an expensive brush. I'll mark where the middle of the painting is and then I'll move the tree to one side of the middle. And I've loaded the brush with two colours, white and brown on the brush at once. And by holding the brush with two fingers, I can twiddle it around as I'm pulling it up and the branch will change colour from white to brown. So practice this. You can practice on your palette if you wish and then add it to your painting. Darken under your tree and put a few little branches on, lifting the brush off as you go up. Don't put too many branches. If you're not happy with your branches, in the next lesson we're going to show you how to put foliage over the branches. And here with a fan brush we'll have some flowers. I've loaded it with brown on the bottom and crispy white on top and dab 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 a few little flowers in place. They look good. You can leave your painting like that or you can add a few little trees in the background. Now remember when the trees get away from us they're very small and very pale in colour but as they come towards us all the tops are in line and the trees get bigger and darker. So now let's have a look at our painting. The important thing is to keep the white in the background. Keep your dark in the corners. Don't worry about things like the bottom tree missing or your branches not as good as they could be. Don't worry about your background as long as it's white and there's a couple of marks there. Let the viewer wonder what it is. Well I hope you enjoyed your first painting and I hope to see you again on another How to Paint lesson.